So, welcome to my very first bolt action video of all time. Uh, I've started a new army recently, which is the Hungarians. There's my first four painted miniatures, Arrow Cross Militia. And uh, here's my new arrival, the Toldi 2A Tank. Uh, this is made by Mad Bob Miniatures, and um, it's pretty good. The hull and the tracks are a single chunk of resin. And as far as I could find, this is the only... Uh, I believe it's access point. I'm, I'm not. I know the name of the thing. It's just not coming to mind. Whereas normally on a Warlord kit, you'll have like three here, seven here. They're just all over the place. Um, but only one. And my thought would have been with only one, the quality wouldn't be great. But it's actually quite good. I mean, it needs a little bit of a, a soap bath, but all resin does. Here's the turret. Uh, you can tell this is the uh, the Toldi 2A by the ammo basket on the back here and the extension little lip here. Otherwise, the turret looks much like a Panzer II turret, I believe. Uh, we've got here the Copula, Copola, however you want to say it. Um, I don't know. From the, the, the historical pictures I was able to find, I don't think it came up like this. It looked like... Uh, just dropped it which is awkward it looked like that it sat up like that but that this here was a separate hatch the round thing on top um yes yeah, so i'm not 100 percent sure on that if you want the hatch closed you'll probably have to cut those little knobs off too i'm not 100 percent sure i need to look at more historical photos uh we've got here the two cannons the 20 mil solothurn anti-tank gun and the 40 mil which i believe is a borfers uh, the the anti-aircraft gun uh, but repurposed for anti-tank duty. So there it is, the Toldi. Uh, for a bit of a size comparison, here is Blitzkrieg miniatures, um, Panzer One. So Toldi's a bit bigger than it. And just for a big size comparison, here's Warlords Games ISU2, which is what the Toldi will be seeing when it sees combat. <laughs> Toldi doesn't seem happy about that. And for a size comparison, let's grab one of my arrow cross militiamen. You can kind of see the size comparison there. So I'm going to paint it up probably in a flat green camouflage. This is meant to be a Toldi right from the end of the war. Um, the Hungarians did have rather nice camouflage though. Um, I have painted camouflage tanks before. Uh, like my, well, <laughs> I... It's going to give an example, and the only one I've got around is this thing here, uh, which is just lines. But I, I've painted some uh, seven TPs, and I'll see if I can get some nice pictures of them up. So camouflage isn't something I would particularly want to shy away from, but I feel like a flat green will look nicer for the Hungarians. It'll make it stand out, and uh, with any luck, might even give enemies on the battlefield a, a pause to go, oh, that green tank, maybe it's, maybe it's allied, maybe it's mine that I forgot about.